Srimadhi Vansuk Sai. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> he will speak again. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Yeah, Chairman, sir. Yeah, yeah. Do belated, the government efforts to move this bill for consideration and passing is welcome. The object of maternity leave and benefit is to protect the dignity of motherhood by providing for the full and healthy maintenance of woman and her child when she is not working in this context. The move to enhance the period of entitlement of maternity benefits under Section 5 of the Principal Act is necessary. I am of the view that the benefit of this Act should extend to the large number of establishment or organization in the country employed less than 10%. There are several establishment with seven or eight employees, even less than that. Therefore, the benefit of the Act should be extended to contract workers, construction workers, call center workers, etc. I would suggest that the ceiling of minimum 10% in establishment may be reduced to five for availing the benefits of the act. Much beyond the primary scope of ensuring a prescribed minimum rest period for a woman employees, workers with full wages and perks, both prenatal and postnatal, the government has launched many schemes for the well-being of pregnant women under Jani Suraksha Yojana under the Health National Mission. Though women from rural areas being poor in titles under the scheme benefits, the pregnant yeah, women to cover all expenses for the deliveries, including cesarean section, free drugs, and, consum and consumables, free diet and diagnostic, etc. There are several women labor migrants from draft hit areas in Rajasthan, Budalkhand, and Chhattisgarh working in Delhi on other urban sector. They work under inhuman condition and are exploited by contractors and middlemen. The government should ensure that the benefit of this act should also be extended to them. The NHM launched during the UPA regime, the comprehensive health care system for rural population reaching out to deprived sector of the society. Northeastern state, including Meghalaya, are still to attain the record show by other states in lowering MMR. It was during the UPA ambitions plan to improve delivery on healthcare front, a scheme to engage more than 9.15 lakhs accredited social health activists, ASHA, to assist pregnant women towards safety delivery. ASHA, Volunteers have been reaching to every nook and corner of the remote rural areas. I hope you will forgive me for this decoration. All I wanted to say is that the UPA government wanted to ensure health care benefits to non-working women also, housewives, through a slew of measures and schemes under the National Health Mission and Janani Raksha Yojana. The contributions of non-working women, housewife, to look after the household and upbringing of children cannot be quantified in terms of remuneration, which exam ways to compensate non-working housewife who do not get the benefits of maternity benefits enjoyed by working women as provided for in the bill under discussions. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.